Hello and welcome to History Pod. Don't forget that my book, 366 Days, featuring a different event for every day of the year, plus the leap year, is available to purchase from Amazon and other good bookshops. On the 23rd of April, 1516, Duke Wilhelm IV of Bavaria signed the Reinheitsgebot, a law to ensure the purity of beer that specified a limited number of ingredients. The early 1500s experienced economic and agricultural tensions in Germany, which saw brewers and bakers competing to purchase grain to produce their goods. In an effort to avoid price inflation, the Reinheitsgebot consequently limited brewers to only used barley, while wheat and rye were exclusively made available to bakers for bread. The original purity law was signed in Ingolstadt and stated that beer in Bavaria could only contain barley, hops and water. As the political situation in Germany changed over the subsequent centuries, the Reinheitsgebot continued to be a central piece of legislation. Its pan-German implementation was even a prerequisite for Bavaria joining the German Empire in 1871. The strict nature of the law meant that it has often met opposition from some German brewers, leading to some adaptations. These include recognising that yeast is required for fermentation, and also permitting malted grains rather than just barley to be used. Despite these subsequent changes, some people have blamed the Reinheitsgebot for the lack of diversity in German beers. As recently as 2016, the German daily newspaper Der Spiegel criticised the law for denying brewers the opportunity to experiment with new ingredients and styles. Consequently, some brewers have begun to create brews that don't follow the law, but these are not allowed to be called beer. Meanwhile, the Reinheitsgebot continues to have a number of supporters, and German beers brewed to its specifications have the status of being a protected traditional foodstuff under European Union law.